In this video, you will learn how to write a C program that can download images of the internet. To perform the network operations, we will be using a popular C library called libcurl. On Ubuntu and various Debian based operating systems, there are currently three different flavors of the libcurl library available. To see what they are, just type in sudo apt install libcurl4 and press the tab key twice. As you can see here, we have libcurl with gnutls, libcurl with nss, and libcurl with openssl. The only difference between these three flavors is that they use different packages for SSL support. I'm going to go with openssl support, so I'll install libcurl for openssl dev. It's a small library, so the installation shouldn't take more than a few seconds. Okay, we can start writing our C program now. I'm going to call it downloader.c. First, as usual, we will include stdio.h. Next, include curl slash curl dot h. This is the header file containing all the functions we will need to download remote files. Now create a main function. Here the first thing we need to do is create a curl handle. This handle will be responsible for all the networking operations we will be performing in this program. To initialize the handle, you must call the curl easy init function. It doesn't take any arguments. Once the handle is initialized, you can configure it by calling the curl easy set opt function. There are many different configuration options you can pass to this function. Let's start with the option that allows us to specify the URL of the file we want to download. It's called curl opt underscore url and now you can type in the actual url but we don't have to hard code the url here instead let's use the first command line argument that's passed to our program as the url so i'll say argv of one here next we will have to specify the file where we want to store all the downloaded data we can't pass a file name to the curl handle directly though Instead, we must pass a file pointer. So, let's declare a file pointer here. And then call the fopen function to open the desired file. Again, to avoid hard coding, let's use the second command line argument as the file name. This file must be opened in write binary mode. Okay, now we can call the curl easy set opt function again. This time, the name of the option will be curl opt write data. This option tells the curl handle where to write all the bytes it downloads. So we can pass the file pointer here. At this point, our curl handle is fully configured. So you can initiate the download by calling the curl easy perform function. Now this function returns an integer using which you can tell if the download was successful or not. So let's declare a new integer here. And here assign the return value to result. The download happens synchronously. So the curl easy perform function might take a few seconds to return depending on how fast your internet connection is and how large the file you're downloading is. You can now check if result is equal to curl e ok. If it is, it means that the download was successful. So I'll just say that here using a printf statement. If the result is not ok, it means that there was an error. I'll again use a printf statement to say that. If you want to let the user know the exact error that occurred, you can pass the result to the curl easy str error function. 
which will return a readable error string. Now, you must understand that the curl library by default doesn't consider HTTP errors such as 404 file not found as real errors. So to fix that, you must again call the curl easy setup function and set the curl opt fail on error option to 1. Okay, that's enough error handling for now. Once the download is complete, you must remember to close the file you opened. And lastly, it's a good idea to call the curl easy cleanup function to release all the resources the curl handle is holding. Our program is now ready. Let's see how to compile and run it. We'll use GCC as our compiler. Here, you must use the hyphen L flag to let the compiler know that you are using the curl library. And if you want to, you can use the hyphen O option to specify the name of your compiled executable. Looks like we have no errors. Wonderful. Let's run the program. Remember, this program needs two command line arguments. The first one is a valid URL. I'm going to use this URL of a random photo I found on Wikipedia. And the second command line argument must be a valid file name. I'll just say photo.jpg. And after a few seconds, we can see that the download completed successfully. We can also see that a new photo.jpg file was generated in the current directory. If I double click on it, I can see the photo. That's all for now ladies and gentlemen. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and classmates. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, please do. Thank you for watching.